Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing an unboxing video for the Goldie Box Winter 2022. It's my second box and um, I just went ahead and opened up the box. Um, but this is what mine looks like. I choose not to get the one that has the big Goldie Box sticker and the black box. I just choose to get um, specially requested just the plain brown box. So if you subscribe, your box will more than likely not look like this. It'll look a lot prettier. But um, so that's the box. I'm just going to go and do a quick overview in case you're not familiar with Goldie Box. Um, it's a subscription box and there are, I think, there are four actually subscription options. Um, one is, um, the first one is Bronze Bear and that's $29.99 a box. And I'm kind of sh reading from my sheet because I haven't memorized this all yet. Um, the Bronze Bear box comes with three, custom th three customizable options plus a Bronze Bear bonus item. And the bonus items are just these extra things that Jess, who is a YouTuber, um, puts in the box and she started this box after having received other subscription boxes and deciding that she wanted to just create something of her own that didn't have all of the like constraints that a lot of the other subscription boxes have. So, um, so along with this bronze bear box, it includes free shipping. All of her, her, all of her subscriptions include free shipping. Um, at least to the, I think United States and um, possibly somewhere else. I'll touch back on that in a second. And a, this another wonderful thing about her box is a tree is planted with every box. So every box that you get, she plants another tree. So or through an organization. Um, the next box is the Silver Bear box, and that's forty nine ninety nine a box. And with the Silver Bear bear box you get five customizational options you also get the bronze bear bonus item and also a silver bear bonus item um and then um the gold bear box is $59.99 and that includes seven customizationable options um plus the bronze bear and the silver bear bonus items and then you also get a gold bear bonus item so that's a total of 10 items in the box, but you actually choose seven. And then there's a fourth option, and that's called the Sur Surprise Bear Box, and that's for $21.99. And this Surprise Bear comes with three surprise products. So you don't get to choose what goes into the box, but if you kind of like mystery and just be so surprise that could be an option for you me personally i like to customize my boxes so i always pick um subscriptions that have like the full customizational options and so the other nice thing about this box is there's no customization categories it's just a bunch of i think like 16 items and then you get to choose from all of the items so um well with the exception there are exclusives so there's always two exclusive. There's a broad, uh, sorry, a gold bear exclusive item for which only gold bear subscribers can select. And then there's a silver exclusive that gold bears and silver bears can select, but not bronze bears and um, surprise bears. So if you want to have um, one of those special selections, you'll either need to subscribe as a gold or silver bear and also or you can opt to upgrade so she that's another awesome thing about this box is she allows you to like let's say you subscribe as a gold bear one for one season and then you decide the next season oh there aren't as many options that i like in as the customizations um so um you don't want the seven items as a choice and you want let's say I don't know three items and you want to downgrade to a bronze bear you can do that there's a special request and there's information on her website on how to do that and all you do is fill out this little form and say you want to downgrade for that season and she takes care of that so this box is just really phenomenal and Jess has done an awesome job with curating this box so she I find that every season 
I have problems choosing items because the stuff that she selects is just so great. So anyways, moving right along. So shipping, um, Goldie Box ships to all 50 United States and Canada. All subscriptions include free shipping in the US. So apparently there's like maybe an extra cost for Canada. And there are no, oh sorry, there are no, there are additional costs obviously to ship to Canada. So I don't know what that exact amount is. Um, and then the other thing that you can do is you can pay an additional $5 to get your box expedited. So basically, if you choose that option when you subscribe, then your box will be one of the first, go in the first wave of boxes to come out. So those will go out before anyone who hasn't requested the um, express shipping option. So I actually choose to do that for one of my boxes. I don't do it for both. So, um, cause that gets kind of expensive, but I just really can't wait. So I kind of want at least one of them to come early. Um, so let's see, additional features of Goldie Box is that all the beauty products, which is skincare, makeup, bath and body, they're, all those products are cruelty free. That's just, it's one of her core values. She has really strict standards for things. So the things that she selects for the box, she really tests, she tests all of her products beforehand and she really puts some serious thought before purchasing items for the box. Um, then another thing about Goldie Box is she also has something called the Goldie Shop. And that includes items from past boxes, um, some, some items from current boxes, and then like just other items that she adds to the store that might be of interest to members. So um, they can be from like featured brands in the box or new products that didn't make it into the curated boxes but are still really great items. Um, and then another great thing about Goldie Box is she doesn't have these shifting dates of when customization happens. Customization happens on the first day of every season. So you don't have to wonder if you're going to miss this email that tells you that customization starts. You don't have to keep track of all these dates. You just look in your calendar and see what the first day of spring, the first day of summer, the first day of fall, and the first day of winter is, and that's the day of customization. So it's, it's, she makes it really super simple. Um, and I just, I love this box. So, um, and another thing she does is she does eco friendly packaging. Um, she does this really cool thing where she takes old boxes and she puts it through a special machine and it like perforates it in some way. And she uses that as packaging material. So she's really into the recycling, giving back to the environment, um, using products or get, buying products that don't have a lot of plastic packaging and that sort of thing, like unenvironmentally friendly packaging. Um, sometimes she will, you will get something in the box that may be wrapped in plastic or bubble wrap or something, and it's just because it's glass and it requires that extra bit of protection. But she tries her best not to do anything that has a really negative impact on the environment. And then the other thing she does is she also tries to support small businesses. So she's really going out there looking for unique products that are great by small businesses and to support and help these small businesses grow. Um, and then she also loves to include companies that have a really good give back story. Um, and she's also into reducing the carbon footprint. So that's kind of why she really is involved with having a tree planted with every box. So that's kind of a summary of um, Goldie Box. I would totally recommend going to the website, checking out more details, subscribing. It's um, I'm also like a FabFitFun subscriber. And um, I love my FabFitFun box, don't get me wrong, but I have actually come to love Goldie Box even more. So um, it's just the best of all worlds. Um, but um, FabFitFun does have its benefits and whatnot, but I, Goldie Box is right now my favorite box and it's been my favorite box for a couple of seasons. So let's get into the unboxing. 
So I went ahead and just opened up my box just to make it easier. I also have a couple um, additional items that I selected. So I may go through here and just put some stuff aside as I take them out of the box so that we can first go through the unboxing and then go through some additional items that are add-ons that I got through the Goldie shop. So um, every, well, that's another thing. She reduces her carbon footprint. So you can choose to get the little brochure that tells you what the products are, um, who they're by, to come in your box, but you don't have to. You can choose to get this I think either emailed to you or access it online somehow. I choose to get one of my boxes that has this in it just to, so I can, when I'm doing my unboxing videos, um, I can kind of read from it and it just makes things a lot easier. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And so normally she puts like pretty packaged uh, tissue paper in here, but because my box is like a little bigger than the normal standard box, it probably wouldn't have fit perfectly. So she just included some packaging material, but she usually picks like theme oriented. Like I think for spring, she might have had, oh no, we haven't had the spring box yet, but for previous spring boxes, she's had things like butterfly tissue paper. And for winter, sometimes she has like snowflakes or fall, she has plaid. So it just makes it really fun to open your box. So moving right along, so the first thing that I'm pulling out, it's the Kitsch Pillow Eye Mask. And this is what it looks like. Um, let's see, let me read about it in the, where is it? Okay, it's an innovative pillow soft sleep mask made of a luxurious satin features a wide comfortable band. So apparently what this is supposed to do is it's not supposed, it's like a wide comfortable band. So it really doesn't leave creases in your hair when you're sleeping or wear after you wear it, um, trying to open it. It's got, I always struggle with opening packages. Um, hmm, is there another way to open this? <laughs> okay, the bottom, that's a little easier. Um, but I will kind of, um, so this is kind of what it looks like. It's really good. Apparently it blocks out like a lot of the light. This is the front side and that's the back side. Um, it says some of the benefits on here is elevate your beauty rest with this luxurious feel of satin, pillowy, soft, innovative design, blocks light for deep and restful sleep, rush, ruched, sorry, <laughs> Elastic stretches for maximum comfort, plush material is gentle on the lashes and brows, and it's gentle for all sleep types. And so I, I will kind of demonstrate what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's really, sorry, let me get this centered. It's really big and really covers a significant area. And this is the elastic, so it's really nice. And let me take off my glasses and put it on. So, oh yes, it really does block out all, like I, I can't see any light whatsoever. So that's really awesome and it's so, so, so soft. Wow, that's really nice. Um, I have another eye mask, it's really nice. It's fun, one of my friends gave it to me. It's like furry, um, it blocks out all the light too, um, but I just wanted something that kind of was a little bigger and less like more inclined to sleep in. That other eye mask that I have, I kind of just wear during, like if I'm taking a nap during the day or something like that. So that's really nice. Um, let's see. Okay, yes. Let me put my glasses back on so I can read the brochure. Um, this is, um, where is it? Um, okay, this is Schmidt Clothing Tech Friendly Gloves that are warm and functional. Um, in my other box, I got, well, let me take that out of the packaging. Um, I got the black pair. They came in black and gray, and I love them. They are so warm. They are so, like, they're so snug like it's just it's really shocking how warm they are and they're really they really work with technology like I could have them on and use my iPhone and super simple 
but um, this is the pattern. Let me see. And it's got this nice like snowflake. This one is gray with like a pink line on it. Um, I'll put it on so that you can see what it looks like on. Ooh, they are really snug. Um, but they fit. I have big hands. I, they fit all sorts of hands. She tested it on a variety of different people. Um, so this is what it looks like. And that's the side. So, and the cool thing is the tip of the fingers. You can see it on the gray pair. You can't really see it. It's the thumb and the index finger. <laughs> they forgot. But the cool thing about these is that, like, there's no, like, right or left hand. They're, um, you know, you can wear either on either hand because the um, little, I don't know, the tech piece the one that allows you to touch your technology is on both sides. So it, you really um, don't have to think like, which hand does this go on? So these are really nice. Unfortunately, <laughs> my second box didn't come until like this past Thursday because unfortunately Jess was sick. And so um, she kind of held off on shipping all these, uh, any boxes that I guess happened later. Um, so mine, while I did um, customize it um, immediately, um, it just arrived. So, um, but that's one thing I love about Jess. She's very transparent. So if you're on Instagram or email or whatnot, you can always see updates of what's going on with her. And this is not like, this box is an extra side hobby business of hers. She has a full time job. And she works a lot of hours usually. She travels. She has a good, well, usually has a really good work-life balance. So she's usually doing a lot of traveling. So she will, if she's traveling or if she's sick or something happens, she will share that information with you. And it's not like you get stuck in this. Like sometimes with like other subscription boxes, like they'll send you tracking information and then it doesn't move for two weeks. And then sometimes something happens to your box and you're always having to call and find out what's going on. But the good thing about Jess and her box is she's, she's very good at kind of like giving a heads up, like this is what's going on with me or this is what's going on. And so I don't mind that. So I didn't mind that my box, like I was, a little sad because I was really looking forward to using these when it was cold out and now it's lately it's weird it's been like today it's in the 70s but like um just the other day it was in the 80s and we're just this this was February so I'm just like okay what's up with this warm weather but I live in North Carolina so I pro I'm, wanted to get these so I could put them in storage and then of course use them next year but um I did get to good use out of the black pair so um Anyways, so just know that things can come up, but she's very, very transparent. She's an awesome person. Like I, I absolutely adore her and I've never met her, but I just, I've been watching her YouTube channel for years. She does a lot of, well, she used to do a lot more spoiler videos, but now that she's so busy with her box and travel and work, sometimes she doesn't get them out early enough for annual subscribers but I watched her she does so much research into products um and gives just so much information when she does do her spoiler videos that I just found them super useful now I whenever she doesn't produce um videos I rely mostly on Catherine McCarthy she does really good spoiler videos I hope to one day find the extra time to do that too I haven't gotten there yet. I'm like, this is a relatively new um, channel of mine. So I'm just getting started, but I hope sometime in the future that I will start doing spoiler videos too. So moving right along, sorry, I get kind of chatty. Um, so let's see what else do we have. Oh yes, this, I love this. So this is the House of Vitamins and it's a classy small gold decorative frame made from poly resin and if you saw my previous unboxing video for goldie box you would have seen that i got the round one i absolutely loved this and i these were either a gold or a silver exclusive but um anyways so this is the square one these are just absolutely gorgeous frames i'm trying to 
I kind of have my windows open so the lighting in here is a little weird. I also have my room light on. Um, I don't have a ring light, not there yet. Um, but this is, I don't know if you can see the detail of the flowers. I mean, the frames are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and this is what the back looks like. So yeah, so I, I've kind of gotten like, I, for the longest time I wasn't into like putting pictures up and stuff, but recently like Jess has just had these really cool things for, um, pictures that I've just started like putting things in. I think one of the seasons she had like this, um, I don't know what to call it, almost like a farmhouse look, um, board with a magnetic thing that said home and you can stick pictures on it. So I stuck like a picture of like my best friend at her wedding, like at her wedding and some like shots that we took like in the photo booth that were a lot of fun. So I'm hoping to put, um, actually another friend's photo in one of these picture frames. So moving right along. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, okay, so this is the balm and it's a sustainable highlighter in green packaging made with high quality ingredients. And so this is what the outside package looks like. Sorry, my nose is itching. And I'll open it up and this is what the packaging looks like it's such cute packaging um it opens up like oh I forgot <laughs> it was tricky before it has this little piece that you pull out and that's how you open the box and so that's the color so if you can see that and let me see this is in the color striking and I will swatch it um hard to see because it is a highlighter um, and my complexion is a little darker but um actually let me put it on the other hand because it's hard to um let me get a good swatch so I don't know I put it right there I don't know if you can see it but it's just it's such a gorgeous color um I forget what color like if it's I think it's I don't remember if it's a peachy I don't know but um I don't know if you can you can see a little bit of <coughs> oh excuse me you can see a little bit of the reflection but so that's what that looks like um I really like these highlighters they have a really nice consistency and it's not like a very like literally powerful um highlighter it's just a more natural look and I really I really like these highlighters so I picked up the different uh, the other color in my other box so let's see sorry for the birds I just have the windows open because it's just such a gorgeous day out so if you're hearing birds in the background they're we have some beautiful birds in North Carolina so they're very vocal and so just please excuse that but maybe you'll find it um relaxing <laughs> um so oh these are let's see okay so the gold bear bonus item are these bamboo wood stickers it's a sticker duo made from sustainable wood bamboo wood printed and packaged with eco-friendly biodegradable material and so this is what the first one looks like and if you can see you can see the wood grain of that bamboo and it's just a happy cheery fun sun and it's got like a good 3m sticky backing and then the other one it says stay wild and it's a bear with a nice like sunset and it looks like like some trees and some mountains and it's really pretty so I don't know what I'm going to do with these stickers because I don't use stickers that much. But um, now that I have two pair, I may give some away. Um, but so, but they're cute. They're different. And that's one thing I love about this box is she's always picking such unique different things that no other box really has. So, um, oh, I know this is a bonus item too, I think. 
Yes, this is the Silver Bear Bonus, and it's the Ellison and Young. It's a smiley scarf that can be worn on the head, neck, or decoratively around a purse or tote. Pairs well with the corduroy tote this season from the same brand. And this is blue. It's got like a blue outline with blue smiley faces and kind of like a white. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, but that's what it looks like. It's really fun. Um, I'm going to enjoy like displaying these on my totes and purses this spring and summer but a very fun item and it's not something that I would ever really find anywhere and it's definitely something that I probably wouldn't pick out because I'm just a little more like conservative or just I don't know <laughs> but it's fun and I like that it's now a part of my accessory collection so okay moving right along oh this is another bonus item. These are the Simply, it's the Bronze Bear exclusive, or Bronze Bear bonus item. And it's the Simply Whimsical set of three flower sack kitchen towels. Highly observant, low to no lint, and lightweight. This set is swan themed with three different designs. And so the first design says, what makes you different makes you beautiful. And it's that's what it looks like and it's got this nice swan on it then this is the other swan design and if you look here the other one's black so I'm not going to take it out of the packaging but these are the three designs that you can get in that come in the flower sack towel set so really cute I love towels I love kitchen items um so love that okay moving right along so the next item is by minimo and it's a no drip oil serum crafted with ayurvedic herbal hair growth remedies and sorry if i botched that i'm very bad at pronouncing some things so i know i totally botched that but this is what the packaging looks like it says Minimo, Majestic, there. It is four fluid ounces and I'm always, like my hair is very, it's curly. It can um, be not a little on the drier side, it just really loves moisture. So I'm always looking for products that are oils or um, hair growth because I also had breast cancer back in 2018 and I lost all my hair and it took it's really long now but it took forever it took a while to grow back but then it just went on this growing rampage and now my hair is a lot longer than when I was um right before chemo um so one thing is that my hair um it grew back but there's some spots that are not as um full as they used to be and so I use like serums and stuff to help with growth I also use um castor oil and I'm always putting um argon oil in my hair you know like more in the evenings um before I sleep and by the next morning it's completely absorbed um so this is just another um serum um it's specially crafted using the ultimate combination of Ayurvedic herbal nutrients that help stimulate growth and nourish hair. Like I said, looking for anything that helps my hair stay healthy and grow, I'm always looking at. So um, Minimo, it's a brand that's been in the box before. I really love their products. Um, the other really great thing is they're not overly expensive to buy like outside of getting it in your box. So, and they make really good items like everything that I've gotten from Minimo I've actually liked um so and it shows up in the box a lot so this is what the product looks like sorry let me pull it out um further and so there you go and it says impress impressive hair growth stronger thicker hair reduce hair loss restore thinning hair um it's non-greasy and lightweight. Um, it aims to activate hair follicle growth, reduce shedding, and soothe the dry, itchy scalp. 
So I'm, I have very high hopes for this and I'm, I'm pretty confident it'll work because everything again that I've selected that was a minimum product has been really good quality. So let's put that to the side. Okay, oh my gosh, my nose is super itching today. Um, so the next product we have is, what is it? Oh, it's the AMNH Watermelon Sugar Lip Mask for Dry Lip Repair and Prevention made with eco-friendly glitter. So this is what the, the product looks like. There's the name. That's what it looks like. And look at that fun glitter. Like I'm trying to get the reflection to see the glitter. Um, look at that. That's so pretty and fun. Um, my lips are always dry, like especially in the winter months and then coming into spring. My lips are constantly, I'm always putting like oils and like lip oils or lip glosses or lipsticks and just, just trying to keep my lips hydrated. So having a mask um, for my lips and let me open it, see if it smells what it smells like. Cause it does say watermelon sugar high, kind of like that song. Um, let's see. Ooh, wow. Actually, it doesn't smell like anything. So that's interesting. Let me just put a little on. Oh, wow. It's very thin, but it's like, it's not oily, which is actually kind of more what I thought it was going to be, but it's hydrating. That's weird. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be, but it's still great. Mm. And I don't know, I can't, I don't have a mirror, so I can't tell if my lips are sparkly or not, but I'm sure they are. But I, I was pretty shocked that it didn't have a watermelon scent. I'm kind of disappointed by that, but um, it's okay. Um, the ingredients are vegan collagen, aloe vera gel, jojoba oil, aloe vera juice, vitamin E, watermelon flavor oil. Okay, now I'm, I'm tasting my lips. Um, I don't know, it's not really strong watermelon anything, but oh well. Um, and golden biodegradable glitter, glitter here's, that's weird. I can't read it. <laughs> it's like, even with my glasses, I'm just, um, my it's tiny writing. Yeah, it says here's. I don't know what a here is, but I guess that means little glitter dots. Um, so anyways, it's just beautiful. It's really nice. Um, I really don't taste the watermelon, but I'm sure like my lips feel really hydrated, but not in a greasy way, which is something I actually kind of love about it. The fact that it has jojoba oil in it and it's moisturizing, but it doesn't feel like this. Um, overly greasy mask so it's I'm gonna be interested to see how well this works over the course of time so, hmm, so I can't stop so like now it's completely absorbed into my lips and my lips feel really smooth it's it's an interesting it's not at all what I anticipated it was gonna be but I'm happy about it so it's still a great product okay so moving right along Okay, so that's an add-on item, so I'm gonna get to that afterwards. This is another add-on item. Let's see. Okay, this is a product. So this is the Nuria, a sustainable source serum that naturally boosts hydration for dry winter skin. Um, let's see. And it's with everlasting flower native to Greece. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it is 0.8 fluid ounces. So where are my scissors? I thought I had them over there. So let's open this up. Let's see what the bottle looks like. Um, so it's 
So this is what the bottle looks like. Oops. Okay. Let's see if it has a smell. Mm. Oh, it's a it's a pump. Or is it a pump? Oh, I remember this. I think you wait. You open it. I vaguely remember watching the video. That right. You open it and then you pump. You stick it in here and you pump it to get it in the dropper, which I just think is so cool. And so let's drop a little bit onto the skin. And so that's what it looks like. And oh, that's really nice. That's a really nice consistency. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And it... Yeah, it doesn't have a scent. Or at least I, I can't smell anything because I also have perfume on, so maybe that's... But I don't think it has a scent. Let me just smell it from the container. No, it's scent-free, so if you're sensitive to scents, this would be a good product to get in your box if you haven't already gotten your box or selected items for your box or subscribed. This is a really nice product and it's really, it's nice and moisturizing and it, it's already absorbed into my skin. Very nice. Um, let's see if it has any special, it's used to revive the skin. This luxurious dry skin booster absorbs quickly and replenishes the skin preventing moisture loss all day long suitable for all skin types so like I it really does absorb like it's completely dry right now so okay moving right along okay so I have I feel some more add-on items so I'm just gonna put those to the side um let's see everything hold on bonus 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 one two three one two three four five so there should be something else in here let me see um <clears throat> Sorry, just going through. Um, so I got let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There should be one more item. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second, let me just look at my, um, oh no, wait, um, let me just look at my list, yeah, did I miss something? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, there should be a seventh item, what am I missing? Um, let me go to my orders that let's see bear with me um goldie box um, let's see order I'm trying to find a copy of my order um to see what i'm missing Oh no, here it is. <laughs> I'm not missing anything. I forgot I put this over here. So this is my seventh item. So I have a total of seven items. So now I can, sorry about that, I can go through my add-ons. Or, well, it's a combination. It's add-ons and shop purchases. So I, before add-ons opened, I found some items in the shop that I really wanted. So I went ahead and purchased them just to like secure them before they 
got out of stock and then I also bought some add-ons. So I'll just go through it all in one sloop. So this is a hat. Um, let me see if I can find the description. It's called a NOLA fleece lined hat. So this is what it looks like. Hearts are super fun. It's got a fun little fuzzy ball and it is fleece lined. I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's so soft. I just hate that it's so warm now that I can't really wear it, but let's put it on. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's super cute. I really love that. I'll be enjoying this next winter and fall. So um, right now this will go into storage. So I'll put that over here. Okay, the other thing I got was, and I'm really excited about this because I've always wanted one of these for my car. It's a complete first aid kit. And so this is what it looks like. It's really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to go ahead and open it because it's going straight into my car. Um, I just never really found anything that I was absolutely in love with. And then I think I also looked at like the reviews online on Amazon and it got really good reviews. So um, I figured why not? Um, and I can tell you all of the things. Sorry, I thought I got something. All the things that come in it. So it comes with, it's a bandage pack. And it comes with um, Request is the company. And it's called the Complete First Aid Kit for Hurricane, Power, Tornado, Fire, Earthquake. But I'm going to put it in my car. Um, and it's... Oh, and it says something free travel first aid kit. Open me to find out how. How to get your free travel first aid kit. It's super easy. Trust me, just visit the site. Or if you're into the whole high tech thing, you can scan here. So an extra freebie. That's interesting. You probably just have to pay shipping and handling because that's usually how things work, but we'll see. But this includes two request bandages, knuckle fabric two request bandages, fingertip fabric, two request first bandages, elbow and knee fabric, um, 10 request first bandages, three and a quarter um, or three fourths inches by three inch fabric, 20 request first bandages, three inch by one inch fabric, 20 bandages, three inch by one inch plastic, 20 spot bandages, 7 eighths of an inch by 7 eighths of an inch, and 30 bandages, 3 eighths of an inch by 15 inches of plastic. And then it also includes a sterile iPad, um, a sterile sponge, which is two by two inches, a roller gauze bandage, which is three inches and it's 4.1 yards. It includes antiseptic towelettes, five of those, two first aid burn creams at 0.9 grams, and it also includes one plastic tweezers, small blue, five safety pins, 28 millimeters, one cold compress, five inches by six inches, one medical grade vinyl gloves, large, one pair, an emergency first aid guide, First aid tape roll, one half an inch, and it's 22.5 yards, and one set of scissors. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that's really nice. It puts all the contents actually on the back. So it's gonna be hard to read on my phone, but it's basically everything that I read you. Um, it's good for the home, work, auto, officer, outdoors. It comes with this really cool carabiner clip. If I'm saying that right, I hope so but it's really nice. Um, so like maybe if you were gonna use it for hiking or something. Um, let's open this bag way up. Um, and it's a nice, it's a nice hard um, thing, but it's got this like material fabric. Um, 
and everything comes like this is what it looks like inside and everything comes in these I'm not going to take it out because it's just so well contained but in these little packages it tells you what's inside and it's these different little kits um which is so cool I really like that and it has a thing called medications too which is the first aid burn cream and the antiseptic palettes so that is so cool I really like that and so far I've been lucky and not needed a first aid kit in my car but you never know so that get that zipped back up oops secured so that's really cool I'm very happy with this and I'll have to check out that free travel kit because <laughs> that's a nice addition okay and then I got an anchored northwest candle in the scent girlfriend and we had an ankle northwest candle in I can't remember I think it might have been the fall box and it smelled so good so so good and it lasted so so long and it had a wood wick which had the coolest sound when it burned um and this is a wood wick so that's kind of what it looks like on the inside oh my god that smells so good their candles smell so good and their candles have such an amazing throw like I literally went with the candle that came in the box I opened it up and just left it open for a short span of time and I didn't even have to light it and my room smelled good and then when I lit it it just another day like because I covered it up and I lit it another day and not a long time my whole room smelled like the candle I love these candles and I never would have discovered this brand had it not have been for Goldilocks. So really? Oh gosh, I have to smell that again. It smells so good. Um, uh, oh, that smells, I, I don't even know what to call that scent. Um, I can look it up right quick, what it smells like. I think it's more of a floral. Um, Okay, looking right up. Um, let's see, here we go. It is, does it say? Okay, the notes are powder, bergman, ling ling, ling ling, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, vanilla, lavender, sugar, sandalwood, musk, and amber. And it's our wood wick is triple scented, 100% soy wax candles that are hand poured in Spokane, Washington. They use ingredient, real ingredients in their candles and fragrance oils infused with essential oils, 100% American grown soy wax and untreated cedar wood sticks. So that's kind of a little bit about Anchor Northwest. I love this brand. So another thing that I got is Hydration Nation 2-in-1 Lemon Lime Squeezer. Now I got a lemon lime squeezer in my Fat Fit Fun box one time, but it was made out of plastic and I like it. It's not bad, but this was such a good deal and it's metal and it got really great reviews on Amazon. So I just picked it up. It'll probably replace the one I currently have. Um, it has, it's just a fun color. It's like, I think it's both green and yellow. Um, so this is what, and I just think it's more adorable. So this is what it looks like. And it's got the hydration nation right there on the handle. Um, and so it opens up like this. And so this is, I guess, the lemon 
squeezer. And then this is the lime component. Um, and so basically you probably put the lemon in here because this is bigger. And so like it would push down the larger sized um, fruit, which is the lemon. And then you put the lime here and it's got a smaller circle and you push it down and like really good quality. And it doesn't, well, does squeak a little bit, but um, really nice. And I just, I love how it sits in there, like this little thing. It's just so cute. Because the other one that I have is a lemon lime squeezer, but it's just one size. So it's just, you know, limes are smaller than lemons. So it just makes sense to have a different type of ball to squish the citrus fruit if it's smaller. So anyways, that's that. Let me put that back. Okay. This video is getting a little long. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I love these things. So these are the what are these these are do they say what they are okay they're um they're just i don't know epically embroidered i don't know if that's the company but they're six reusable face rounds and i love these like i also have some of the oh i don't know what they're called and i love those too but i wanted different face rounds that i could use for other things so um, let me just go quickly to the Goldie Boxed Goldie Shop. And, oh, the other ones are reusable cotton rounds. Um, or not, I'm sorry. Face rounds. No. Um, okay, so the ones that I... I have both, but one of them is called Last Round Cotton Pad Alternative, and it's a sustainable alternative cotton round. And it's really cool because it's really hard when you get it, but when you put a product on it or you put water on it, it becomes this very soft and it feels like a cotton pad, but it's actually made out of, what is it? It's made out of wood and cotton. And I absolutely love those. I use those um, for, and last round is a really, like their, uh, their core values and like what they're, I, I gotta look at this up right quick because I can't remember everything. So, um, let's see. Last round, reusable. So, um, hold on. So by using one pack of those, which includes how many rounds? I can't remember. Um, I want to say six, but it reduces, it eliminates 1,750 single use rounds. That's not the ones that I got here. But these other ones are like really good and I use them for all of my like every time I'm using a toner or something like that. But I have, um, I wanted different pads for a different use because I'm really trying to cut back on, I used to buy a lot of cotton rounds and then just being a part of like Jess's box, I've just become more and more environmentally friendly. I'm not 100% there yet, but I, I totally eliminated cotton rounds from my purchasing and so I have like this Fitbit and sometimes it gets grimy and I used to use cotton rounds to put some alcohol on it and to clean it but I don't want to use um put cotton rounds on the uh alcohol sorry <coughs> goodness sneezing here allergies um I didn't want to use those rounds um and put alcohol on them and then you know reuse them and stuff because you rinse them out and stuff but so i got these other cotton rounds that are reusable and they're fleeced and they come in these different patterns and so i just needed more of them because 
six just wasn't enough because I, I don't like to wash them every week. I like to have, and I use more than one. Um, so anyways, these are cute. I'm just going to take them apart because I'm going to put them in my little canister where I keep my reusable cotton rounds. And these are, and so they're all these different patterns. I think they're sold out right now. She might bring them back, but in the interim. So this is what it looks like. There are these cute, um, ladybugs. So I really like that. I think other pairs that I have I think one has butterflies on it um yeah I think I only got one the first time just to test it out um then these have oh butterflies more butterflies so that's what these look like and they're just really thick um I don't know if you can see that they're really thick, so they're multiple layers. I think it's like three layers of plaid. Like there's two of the matching um, design, and then there's a different layer on the middle. Um, and then these are, what are these? These are fish. So not as fond of this pattern as the other patterns, but it's fine. I'm being better for the environment. So that's what they look like. And they're, they come in a pack of six. So now I have, including the ones that I have, now I have 24. So, so cool. So moving right along, almost there. Um, then um, in the, this was a, um, box brand it's called banded and i didn't particularly like the hair what were the hair bands or something there were these bows and i thought they looked um i'm a little older so like i thought they looked a little young for me to wear but they had other items in the goldie shop and so these are banded and let me see if i can find what they are um oh here we go Banded faux fur, faux fur scrunchies. That's a tongue twister. So that's what they look like. They are so cute, so fun, different colors. So there's a pink one, there's a brown one, a white one, and a black one. So pretty, so soft. Um, every brand, every banded Hello. product purchase provides three meals to children in need. So that's a cool thing about the product. Oh, you might hear some background noise. We have a um, handyman coming to um, fix our, um, or check out our washer. So you may hear some background of like someone talking in the background. Um, hopefully that'll get quieter. But um, then I also got the banded netted neutrals. Um, I'm always, obviously because I have really long hair and I'm always putting it up. I'm always looking for scrunchies and like hair ties and stuff like that because I just get tired sometimes of wearing it straight down. So this is what they look like. Super pretty. They're soft too and I just really like them because I don't think they're going to tear out my hair but that's what they look like. Pretty colors. So put those over there. And then, um, let's see this. I think this was another, where's my, um, yes, in the box they had this brand called Tagwa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they had these really cute earrings, but they were a little big for me. I kind of like tiny, like teensy tiny earrings because I have these really small earlobes. And the hole was when I got them done when I was a kid. They're, they were a little lower in the earlobe. And, and I guess I was also still growing, so they couldn't really tell what was the center of my earlobe. So I tend not to like to wear too big earrings because they just, I don't know, I'm just not that adventurous, I guess. So I was a little scared to get those. But they had in the store, they had this cute bracelet. So let's see. So... This is what the tag looks like. 
that's what the bracelet looks like. Here, let me put it on so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, oops. The wind is blowing things. So that's, it's hard to tell with my lighting and camera, but um, and it's really dark. But these are made out of, they're fair trade, sustainable, handmade from 100% natural materials. I think these are made from a nut. Um, yes, they're made from the natural tagua nut. It's T-A-G-U-A and vegetable dyes. So um, really pretty. So I thought it would be like nice. I like bold blue colors and it's just the color is just not coming across really well on my camera and the lighting. I don't know, but it's just it's super pretty. So, and then I got, let's see, um, okay, where is it? The Wellspring Coloring Journal, and I actually got this for a gift for my friend and her daughter. Um, but so I'm not gonna open it but you can look um, online on Amazon it got really good reviews um, and you can see pictures of what the inside looks like but this is what the outside looks like and so it has like these different patterns and you can journal and color and so I got two of those and I'm so excited these finally came because my friend's birthday has gone and passed and I was hoping they would get here before then, but they're here now, and so I can check those out. And hopefully she doesn't watch this video to spoil it. So, um, and then um, another, I don't know if she's had it, because I haven't been a member for very long, maybe a year now, um, but there's a brand of wax called Happy Wax and they make, um, wax warmers and like, I love candle. I love things that smell great and I love candles, but then I also like wax warmers and wax warmers are actually really great. Not only to get the waxes and melt them, but if you ever have a candle and then like, you know how you burn the candle and then sometimes at the end it doesn't burn completely and you have some wax left over and you really love the scent of that candle. If you scrape it out and you can then use that wax that's left over in your wax warmer. And I do that a lot. Um, and then I often save because usually the containers that I get for um, candles are so pretty that I end up reusing them as storage containers. But anyways, totally sidetracked. This is a happy wax wax warmer. I had a wax warmer in my study, but it has like a, I love it because it's so pretty. It's like this nice porcelain, beautiful cream, just just gorgeous wax warmer and it's square and I absolutely adore it but it has a short in the wiring and I am not electrical and I know it would probably be more costly to try to get it fixed so I just went ahead and got a new one I've had it for years so um so this will replace that one um so let me pull it out it wasn't really the color that we wanted. There weren't really a lot of choices, but I got a, um, let me pull it out here. Oops. I got a um, wall warmer um, that I love the color in. Um, this is called, I think it was called Waterfall or something, but I love it because like it has this removable cup and it's silicon. So um, that's what it looks like. So it's non-stick and it's super easy to get the wax out. It's not like the one that I currently have is porcelain and like I have to heat it up and then pour the wax out. It's not easy to get out of the container and I absolutely love Happy Wax and their silicon um, places where you pull, put the wax because it's just, you literally just pop it out. It's just so easy. Um, 
let me just plug this back in quickly. Um, so, and this also has like a, I think it has a timer on it. Yes. And that's another thing mine didn't have. It just had an on off switch. So, um, this is kind of like an upgrade. So, um, let me put this box down. So this is some sort of, I don't know, it's not plastic. It's definitely like, um, like a porcelain or something. Um, but this is what it looks like. There's the Happy Wax logo, but luckily it's on the back, so you're not going to see this when it's sitting on your desk. This is what the inside looks like, but you don't use this. You don't put the wax here. You put the wax in this silicon tray. And so when you're done, you just pop it and the wax just pops right out. It's just so, so easy. And um, this one comes with a timer. And so it has on three hours, six hours, nine hours. And then it also has a power level of low, medium and high. So lots of options. So that's what the timer looks like. I don't know if you can really read that on camera, but so that's, what that looks like and it's called the mod wax warmer and it has you basically add so happy wax comes in these really cute bare pieces of wax it's not squares um but it's just like these cute little bears it's so adorable and their wax it smells so good it has such great throw you don't need a lot so it's saying like you literally for this big thing, you put one to three bears in, you set the timer to three, six or nine hour runtime. You enjoy the fragrance as the bears melt and scent up your space. Once the wax has cooled, simply pop out the silicon dish, pop it out of the silicon dish and repeat whichever scent or blend fits the mood. So, um, Yes, I'm really, oh gosh, my nose, I keep sneezing. <coughs> so sorry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit that out because I've been talking. So please excuse my allergies. So I really love this. Like, I'm not totally in love with the color because it's kind of dark compared to the one that I currently have. But there are so many benefits like the timer, the power level, the silicon, um, place where you put the max. I don't know what you call it, dish. There you go. And so that's that. So this is just going to go ahead and go in my study. And that's almost all it. Um, let's see. Is there... Oh, and the other thing to mention is if you get Happy Wax, it's 100% soy wax and essential oil infused. So it doesn't have any of those bad ingredients or anything. And it's long lasting, like I said, packed with high quality scents. Like there's, they have great throw. So, and last, oh no, not lastly, I have a couple more items. So another thing that I got was the Miracle Mud Mask with Dead Sea Mud. And I love mud masks. And this is by Minimo. <laughs> Seeing a pattern here. I'm just, Jess has totally turned me on to Minimo products. And this is for fluid ounces. And the thing that I really loved about this, even though I have another mud mask that came with a free applicator, this comes with a free applicator and it's so fun. Um, let me see if I can open it. Like how fun is this? It, if I can get it out of the packaging, it's this fluorescent pink color and I love pink. I just love pink. So it says minimal on it and it's this flexible silicone spatula, which is interesting because the one that I have is a, um, for my other mask is bristles, but they're synthetic bristles, but this is pretty cool. Like a, oh, that feels nice. Ooh, I just, I'm a tactile person. So anyways, and moving right along, 
this is what the product looks like. It says Miracle and it's got a flip top. I'm not gonna, you know, take a little bit out because masks are messy, especially mud masks. And um, I already currently have a mud mask open that I need to get through. So this, I just, you know, couldn't resist an opportunity for like free shipping in my box. So um, that's that. And then let's see. Okay, another thing that is a past box brand is, um, or wait, was it for the winter box? Um, no, I think it was a fall box brand. It was called a sidekick journal. And I have um, two of their other journals and I absolutely love them. And they're just such great quality. They're so helpful. They're scientifically based. Um, they are, I have, currently have the Gratitude Journal and the Sleep and Evening Routine Journal. And um, the other two journals that I just picked up are the Nutrition Sidekick Journal. And so that's this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and take out the patching because I'm just going to start using them. Um, I used to never journal or do anything of that nature and I've just really gotten into journaling and I just love having this like and this product is not it's not expensive but it's not cheap either so um but to get it in the Goldie shop or in the box is just such a great deal um this is this nutrition sidekick journal is a weight management and nutrition sidekick journal you track your meals, you have accountability, it's science-based, it's flexible with all eating styles. Um, oh, and the other great thing is that as you progress through the book, it kind of gives you this email that you're supposed to send, like an email to, and basically say, I want my free gift. And <laughs> because now I have four sidekick journals, I've been, like, I haven't, I've only emailed about getting one of the gifts, but I'm going to get like three more free gifts. And what I found out it is, is that it's a free PDF of a certain number of pages of one of their other side coat journals. So it's really good value. Um, so anyways, this is what it looks like. And let me take the, and they give you this, not that this matters, but this cute little sticker. Um, I don't, I'm not really a big sticker person, but if you like stickers or you have a child and they like stickers they might like it um but what's really cool is that it has this, this elastic i love journals that have an elastic band that keep it covered and they also have a little book marker like a little satin book marker to hold your page in and your space um and so It has like a table of contents and it goes through this process to kind of get you like committed to making a serious commitment to yourself and like finding out your why you want to do this and just it's it gives you so many techniques for actually making this a habit um and changing your life so um and everything is different and then they have like an informational section so you learn while you're doing it and then um it gives you challenges and just a lot of stuff and I just I can't really flip through it because it's just everything is just so different but um here is kind of like it talks about different um styles of eating like plant-based and keto um it gives you like daily challenges, pro tips, clips and podcasts that you can listen to. Um, it's split down into different phases. Um, every day you get a daily challenge. Um, they give you a quote um, and they give you things to plan for the next day. And then this is just like a sample of like the daily challenge and like kind of what you would write down. So I totally recommend you checking out their website um, and just reading more about their journals. 
I literally, I struggled with sleep or half struggle, I still struggle with sleep. Um, for many years, I suffered from insomnia for a while. I used to have really good sleep habits and then I just got on a bad sl sleep habit path and <coughs> sorry, gosh, this is so horrible. There's so many sneezes in this video. So anyways, um, but the sleep and evening routine journal has really gotten me to get more sleep. It's just fantastic. And I love the gratitude journal. I've been, I started like creating a junk gratitude list a while back ago and then I kind of fell off the wagon and I just wasn't keeping it up because it was on my computer and you would think I would keep it up because it was on my computer but I really I just keep these journals on my bed or by my bed and I just do them every evening and I absolutely love it and the gratitude journal is really cool because it has like a different theme for different days so you're not always having gratitude for the same things um, so anyways, so that's the Nutrition and Sidekick Journal. And then, um, this is the Badass Body Goals, the Booty Shaping and Resistance Training, um, journal. And this is what it looks like, and it comes with a resistance band. Um, and it includes all the things like the elastic and all that thing. This one's bigger, which um, makes sense because you're probably putting more information in here, but this is like the standard size of the journals, but this one's just a little bit bigger because you're probably inputting more like um, exercise stuff. Oh, that's really cool. They give you like pictures of kind of the exercises and stuff and I um have a workout routine but I just thought this would be really cool like something different to do um and to kind of get my booty in shape um so that's really cool and so it comes with this really nice size I have resistance bands but this is pretty um, I'm not like a huge fan of the plastic ones because they tend to roll. I don't know if this one will roll when you wear it. Ooh, it's very, it's very restrictive. I don't know if I could get both my legs in here really well, but I don't know how I'll be using the resistance band anyways. So soon to find out. So that's that. Um, let me put that back in here. Um, gosh, here we go, actually. Sorry, they had it in here in such a, I shouldn't have taken it out. Um, but anyways, put that back. And so this, oh, that's the Nutrition Sidekick Journal. But this is kind of, a, they have a Morning Sidekick, sidekick Journal, a Nutrition and Weight Management Sidekick Journal, which I just showed you, a Meditation Sidekick Journal. A badass body coals, um, booty shaping and resistance training, which is the one I just showed you. They have the weightlifting gym buddy. What else do they have? Yeah. Um, so just go to www.habitness.com and you can just find out more about the journals. And so I'm just going to put these little informational. I just like to keep those things in the back of the journals um so let's put that away put that there so um so oh one more thing then we're completely done so um last but not least and this is another reason why my box was late was because um this one product hadn't like she couldn't find it I think in her storage area so she ordered some more and it took a while to get delivered so that was the first reason why my box was late and then um it was because she was sick so um 
This is the Mad Man 16 functional, 16 function credit card size wallet tool. It has an inch ruler, three screwdrivers, six hex keys, a bottle opener, a can opener, a peeler, a cell phone stand, eyeglass screwdriver, box opener, letter opener, and centimeter ruler. So this is, oh, let me just take it out of the packaging. This is what the box looks like, or actually wait, oh, this is what the box looks like holding it the wrong way. This is what the back looks like. And let me see if I can get this open. Like I said, I struggle with getting things open. Gosh, this is hard to open. It's like a box within a box, but not an easy way to remove. Gosh, this is like, this is autumn proof. This is literally autumn proof. I don't know how to open this. Oh. I think just, does the plastic come out? Let me use my, yeah. I was trying to take the box out of the box, but it, there's gotta be a way this comes out. Oh, it does. Oh, I almost got it. I'm not, I just got the tool out. That's all that matters. Um, but, oops. It's got these sticky stuff on it. Oh, this is nice quality. It's metal. Um, this is what it looks like. So I see the ruler here. This is the letter opener. This is the box opener right here. Um, these are the different screwdrivers. It says this is the cell phone stand. I don't see how that works. Um, oh no. Insert card. I don't see the card, but anyways, we'll keep going. This is a screwdriver. Peeler. This is a peeler. This is the can opener. This is the bottle opener. And I don't see how it says insert card for the cell phone stand. So inch ruler, three screwdrivers, I got that. Six hex keys. Oh, those are the hex keys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are hex keys and then on top is screwdrivers. Um, three screwdrivers. I don't know. I'm, I'm missing something. Anyways, so it says this is a screwdriver and I guess that's a Phillips screwdriver. That's a flathead screwdriver. Where's the third one? And this is a screwdriver? I don't know. So I wish I had an instruction manual. Um, but I don't understand because it says says right here cell phone stand and it says insert card oh do you like you think it would come with a card if it wanted you to insert a card it doesn't come with anything but I don't understand how that works I'll have to ask Jess but I mean like do you just insert like a credit card um I just don't understand how that's a cell phone stand. If that makes sense to you, if you own this tool, if you know how this is supposed to be a cell phone stand, please explain it to me because I'm at a total loss. Let me see if I can look it up on the website. Maybe they have a website that explains it. So let's look it up right quick. Mad Men it called 16 function credit card 
Okay, looking at it right now. Uh, it doesn't have any instructions. That's just so not fair. Um, hmm. Let's see. How to use cell phone stand. Well, there's a video, so I will have to watch the video, I guess, to learn how you're supposed to use the cell phone stand because I am at a complete loss on how that works. Unless you insert a credit card and then it stands up. I don't know. I'm so perplexed. It should have instructions. But anyways, so, um, and there's... There's no card or anything, so I don't know. So anyways, if you know, please let me know in the um, comments. Um, but that's it, that's my box. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm sorry I was looking things up, but I was just really trying to figure things out for you. Um, if par chance you wanted to pick this up. But um, anyways, so that's my entire box and my add-ons and my order. So thank you for watching. Um, please, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. I would love to get more subscribers. Uh, let me know if, how you liked this video. Feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. So thank you for watching. Bye. I'm back. I I just watched a quick video. There was something that I got in my add-ons. It was this Mad Men credit card um, what was it called? Some sort of tool, which has a lot of different uses. And it had a cell phone stand written right here. And I couldn't figure out how to use it because I'm just not used to one of these tools. So I watched a YouTube video and it's kind of what I thought. You do insert a card and a credit card, and then you're able to use it as a phone stand. So what you do is like, there's this little slot here and you put a credit card in there. I'm just kind of going to demonstrate. So then it kind of tilts like that. And then I'm using my phone to film. So then what you do is then you just put your phone there and then it acts like a cell phone stand. So that's cute. Um, it would have been helpful if they had instructions showing you how to do that. But um, anyways, that's how it works. Thank you for watching. Bye.